Good day. Um, welcome to my uh, video entitled ANOVA One Week Question and Answers. Right, so let's get to the point. Question 1. Question 1 is ANOVA One Way. To know that this is an ANOVA One Way, you must have one factor with many levels. Okay, this is a question regarding an engineer who wants to study the effect of edge rate based on radio frequency or in other terms is laser power. The hypothesis is these laser powers are different because they have different intensity in terms of wattage. So she must run this with high wattage as much as possible because she wants the production to go smoothly and as fast as you can. But at the same time, we must save cost. You must run cost effectively. Right? So you have 4 RF powers, 160, 180, and 200, and 220 wattage, as well as 5 replications of the observed edge rate, as you can see in this table. Okay. Yeah? Okay, so let's go to the next slide. On the next slide is this calculation. I will put here by steps so you can memorize. Step 1 Total row. Okay, this is your step 1. So you can see here these are the totals, right? The totals from this number. This number, that's the total. This number, that's the total. Okay, that's step 1. So let me write it again 1. Step 2, rows average. This is step 2. These are the averages of all the rows. Right? We have 5 plus them divided by 5. That's how you get the average for each row. Step 4. Grand total. All the total that you get, total, you plus them, right? You have 12,355. And step, uh, sorry, that's not step 4. That should be step 3. Step 3. And this one is step 4, grand average. How do you get grand average? Summation of all average divided by n or number of average. That is step number four. Let's go to the next page. Now this next page, we begin to calculate the sum of squares. We have SS total, SS treatment, or I like to call it SS or sum of square for levels, and SS error. The equation is given as such, the one that I circle there, right? You can get this equation from the formula sheet that I provide on our website, which is this one, yeah? Uh, on the formula sheet, go to page 2. So this is your ANOVA one-way calculation equations formulas. Alright, let's go one by one. SS total. We have two summations symbol there, right? What are these? These are from the first number of rows and for the first number of column, you go until you finish all the A's and all the N. A is 4. Why do you have 4? Now go back to this. Here you have 4 levels, right? This one is 160, 180, 200 wattage and 220 wattage. That means we have 4. A. A equals to 4. And over here is your repetition. So, N equals to 
five. Okay, and then there's y i j squared. That means for all i, for all j, for all row, for all column, each and every one of them, you have to square them. Then you have to sum them or plus them. So as you can see here, you have 575 five squared, 542 five, squared, and 710 squared. And this one for shortcut. Right? Let's go back to this sample. As you can see there, that these are the numbers that we talked about just now. 575 five squared plus 542 squared plus 530 squared. Each and every number, we square them and we plus them. Right? Let me clear it up. And that's how you get all this. Okay? And this will be your grand total. And this will be your sample number. Sample number, and you will get a positive value. Always remember, ANOVA will have positive value. Let's go for level. SS level is given by 1 over N, and N stands for repetition, yeah, which is 5. Okay, and this one is I until all A is done. This is Y I dot. That means the total for each row. How I say it's total? Because this sum uh, symbol, total. Let's go back to this slide. As you can see here, you have all the totals calculated. And you have to square them. You have to plus them. That's why you have four of them. Okay? Square them and plus them. This is your grand total and this is your sample number and provided you have done the correct calculation, you will have a positive value always. Therefore, your SSE is SST minus SS treatment and again, oh, you have a positive value for SSE. It's time now to calculate mean square. To calculate mean square, there are only two mean squares for ANOVA, uh, ANOVA 1 wing. Mean square is MS treatment or MS level and MSE stands for MS error. So let's go back to our slide and write down the equation. M as mean square level or treatment is s s treatment divided by degree of freedom of level right or level huh? and finally for MS, MS error, which is of course MS E divided by degree of freedom of error. What are the equations for this degree of freedom? This one A minus O. Let's use another color. A minus 1. And for error is, let's go back and check. Big N, capital N minus A. And N minus A. Alright, so you'll get these values. You can write your results in table like this nicely. This one, nicely. Alright, so I can find them and give them marks. Okay, our F0 comes from MS treatment divided by MS error. And you got 66.8. That is our step 5. I know. Uh, let's say step 4, 5, 4. Let's give, give them names. Step 
five, step six, and this is step seven, DF zero. Okay, step eight. is green pen choosing your hypothesis how to choose hypothesis our equation is f alpha v1 and v2 what is v1 this is your significant level this is your degree of freedom of level and V2 is degree of freedom of error. So I have to make a mistake in my slides now. Uh, this is not uh, 12. This is 16. Right? And 16. And therefore, these three needs to be changed. Alright. So you can see here. 3 and 16. Okay? 3 and 16. To do this, we should go and visit our statistical table. Alright, I have statistical table here. We have, let's go to the beginning. We have a Z test. We have a T test. We have an uh, F test. So, let's do, uh, technically, you sometimes I just ask alpha equals to 5. But, for the fun of it, sometimes I ask you to do all of them. So let's do all of them. Okay, 316. So you see here, above here is your V1 and V2. So V1 he is degree of freedom of level, which is 3, is over there. And degree of freedom of error is 16. 16. There you go. So you crisscross 3 and 16, you get 3.24. Can you see? 3.24. So here, the new... F alpha for that degree of freedom of level and error is let me choose this one 3.24 okay let's do the next one 1% one 1% one 3 and 16 you have 5.29 and finally sorry finally the last one at 0.01% or 0.1% alpha 0 0.01 which is this this page 3 and 16 is around 9.01 all right therefore all these values is less than the one that we have calculated 66.8 right so this one is less than 66.8 less than 66.8 less than 66.8 that is why h1 is accepted how does we look at it if this is your distribution level this is your five percent this is your 1%, this is your 0.1% alpha. Our F0, this one is 3.24, 5.29, and 9.01, and our 66.8 is way in the rejection region. Right, that is why H1 is accepted. What does it mean? It means you have to write it down for marks. At least one wattage is good for production. Okay? All right. So to do, to do this, you must calculate the effect estimates, right? Effect estimates. So here, what are these numbers? These comes from the grand average. And these comes from the ever 
ranges for each row. So average minus the grand average, you will get these values. Okay? You will get negative 66.55, negative 30.35, 7.65, this is positive, and positive 89.25. To choose which one is the best, since we are looking at the uh, edge rate, the best edge rate, we must find positive values, which these two. This negative value means that it will bring down the yield and your manufacturing process will become slower. Right? The best, of course, at 220 watt and the second best at 200 and wattage. If we don't care about cost, we will choose... 220 wattage because it is the fastest the highest magnitude of this calculation magnitude okay but for cost analysis 200 wattage is the best okay so this is how you calculate if uh, h1 is accepted all right next question is about a rolling concrete so we have a concrete then we drill it and then we take it out and see if there is any entrapped air the more air entrapped in this concrete then the concrete will become brittle because there will be empty holes and concretes will become weak so we have four rolling levels and these are the compressive strength so as you can guess our a is 4 because we have 10 rolling level 15 rolling level 20 rolling level and 25 rolling level for our repetition we have 4 because we have this for repetition okay a equals to 4 and also equals to 4 so here is the ANOVA design expert output results. As you can see, our F0 is 2.06. Now, since we don't have software during our exam, we need to do hand calculation. Let's do this one. Okay, I have an empty slot here that I would like to do uh, some samples for calculation. Yeah? First, always start with SST. All right? For all of the numbers, we square them, we plus them. So we put here Give me a moment Right? Oh, sorry We put here A hundred, a thousand, five, three, zero Squared Plus One, five, three, zero Squared plus 1440 squared and the efficient of calculation and we choose 1510 sorry from the last two plus 1511 squared okay all this we minus the grand total what is our grand total six oh we don't have a grand total uh, the grand total in my calculation here is um, where is that? Okay, there. Two, four, six, seven, five. You calculate yourself, yeah. And we have our total number of samples is four times four is sixteen, and you will get SST equals to. My calculation here is 73450.43 and this is a positive value. Next, we should calculate our SS level. 1 over 4 repetition and for each of, for each of the rows. So you see the total there? So 6022 6022 squared plus 6261 squared six, 
6381 squared I have my another screen there if you're wondering and the last one 6011 squared all of this we minus grand total 24675 squared over 16 and you should get a positive value of 24995.18119 I think 19 and again this is a positive value alrighty the last one is SSE SS error where you have SST minus SS uh, level and you should get yourself 4845625 next we calculate the mean square for level which means SS level divided by degree of freedom of error so what do you have here D O F for level, sorry, level, yeah. SS level, yeah, SS level was 24995.19 divided by um, 4 minus 1. And you should get yourself, let's see, my calculation here says 8331.73. Again, a positive value. And MS error, MS error by taking SS error, divide by degree of freedom of error, which is, oh, should go down here, error, uh, 4845525, divide by capital N, 16 minus 4, which is, uh, uh, 12, 16, we have 16 uh, minus A, yes. So you should get yourself 4037.94. And this is a positive value. And afterwards, we need to calculate our F0. So let's use another color because F0 is MS level, MS error and i don't want to repeat the, the writing i'll get 2.06 and it is positive value as well whereby these results is the same with these results yeah okay okay now what you need to do is then to seek the um, uh, h1 or h0 so i'm going to write here H0, H1, to do that, find F, alpha, V1, V2, or F, 5%, degree of freedom, DOF, level, DOF, error. So you have yourself uh, 3, and n big n minus 4 16 minus 4 you get 12 so why not in the same time find 1% f 0.1% so to cut to the chase i have my notes there on my second screen this is 3.49 5.95 and 10.80 what do we have here all of this is bigger than our f0 which is what is it again 2.06 therefore it means h0 except there is no difference in rodding level how about effect estimate effect estimate is not needed
Alright, that's how you answer another one. I hope to see you on the next video. Have a good day. Bye.